There's a whole range of single dosing grinders out there at different prices. Here is the GS2, it's an entry level unit. Let's dive in and see if it's the right one for you. Hey everyone, I'm Luke. Welcome back to the Artistic YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. And so you don't miss out on the latest video, make sure you do like, subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when we put up our latest video. And if you've got a question about this grinder, make sure you leave it below, We're happy to answer that for you. And right now we have launched our new merch store through our YouTube channel. So if you're an international um, viewer in the US, you'll be able to buy any of our merch. We'd love if you could support us. So thanks so much uh, for watching, uh, but also, yeah, get a bit of merch, it'll really help us to continue providing you with amazing content. So today we're looking at the Precision GS2. It's an entry level single dosing grinder, which we feel hits the mark. There's a lot of products out there um, that are starting to become, um, I guess the vogue in the types of grinders that you may have at home. And why would you go a single dose grinder over a bean hopper grinder? Well, mainly because you can change between a single origin, a decaf, or a blend really simply. Uh, there's very low grind retention, and you don't have to keep taking your hopper out and basically um, pulling all the beans out. You're only putting in what you need. And typically, these grinders in the commercial area are around $4,500. We've started to see some great products around the $1,200 uh, mark, which is like a niche. Then we're coming down to maybe filter grinders but some of them don't actually offer filter or espresso. And there is a whole range of precision grinders out there. Uh, this is the entry level, the GS2, and we think it's amazing. Uh, it's under the 399 mic, so there's so much value. And what has it got to offer? Well, it does have a small 100 gram hopper. Now, if you buy it um, and don't get the hopper slide uh, attachment, essentially, yes, the beans will fall out if you take the hopper off. So the ones we sell all have this little hopper attachment on them, and it does have the popcorning um, cover inside there. So uh, basically all grinders that don't have um, lots of beans in there can do a bit of popcorning. So it's great that they've uh, thought about that and stopped that from happening. On the front, you've got your dial, which goes all the way around to five, and you could be using that for say a pour over or a cold brew and dialing it right back to pretty much just um, back from one for espresso. So a whole lot of uh, variation there with the 60 mil metal burrs that are inside it. So it's got a 200 watt motor, which is great if you're power conscious, um, and it will grind about 22 and a half grams pretty quickly. So we're pretty happy with this. We do use it for some single origins in some of our smaller coffee accounts. It does come with a little catch container there with a nice little lid, uh, and essentially, yeah, you can pop that in. And if you're pressing and holding it, that will um, continue to grind. If you're on setting one, which is at the back on the main power switch, if you put it to two, it will just continue to keep grinding until you turn it off. So they're the two switches that are in there um, that you just gotta consider which option you're after. So I'm just gonna grind 22 and a half grams for you on the single dose setting. We'd remove our lid, pop it in, and pop the lid back on. You don't want anything else falling into that grinder. Now, it is pretty quiet, it's not super loud. Some of these grinders can be very loud. Um, it is going very fine. There is a little bit of static that starts to happen, so if you want to fix that, a little um, mist of water in there will certainly help. Now, we've almost gone through all of that grind. There you go. Now, one thing that I think would be great in addition to this is a way to just get that little bit of fine grind out. Um, with some grinders, you can buy um, a, a little um, air pump, basically it sits on top and it just pushes that last little bit of grind through. Um, you can't get it for this hopper, but I think as an added extra, you buy a different hopper, you can buy those for these models as well. Maybe a little brush, just to brush off a bit of that grind. It can get a little bit, um, a little bit staticky on there, but it does give a nice, really aromatic smell to the grind. So it's not burning it, uh, it's not taking too long, um, and it's not really affecting the flavor that we're finding in our single origins and decafs, which is what we use it for. The cool thing about this pot is that it will actually fit inside a 58 mil um, Lama Zocco or Wager sort of standard E61 group head. So you can turn that upside down and give it a bit of a tap and you'll get that coffee in. 
So that's really handy. Um, you don't have to then scoop it out or, or do anything. I wouldn't ever grind straight into the handle with one of these grinders. Grinders, you do have to use your dosing pot and that'll keep it nice and clean. So if you want to find more about the specs on the grinder, jump on our website, you'll see them all there. And if you're in Australia, you'll be able to purchase one of those. So all in all, the Precision GS2 is a great, cheap, entry-level single dose grinder. If you're looking at having any sort of flexibility on different beans or having a play, this is a great starting point. Uh, you don't have to spend an absolute bomb to be able to get into the single dose market. So it gets a huge tick from us for value and quality. It just, you just can't go past it. If you've got any other questions about the grinder, hey, pop in the comments below. We will answer that one for you. Um, thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope that's helped you understand um, where the GS2 fits in the single dose grinding market. Thanks guys, have an awesome one. We'll catch you soon.